Hi there, friends, and welcome back to episode 5 of the fourth season of Genetic Grim Part 2. I'm Icon, and today we will witness the hatching of two megafauna incubators. Hopefully no flesh beasts will spawn. Apart from that, I do plan on some more expansions today. I want to put up a little bit of a barn or something like that. I haven't fully decided yet. Harvest some new funky and uh, exciting genes and chop again some wood. We are pretty much at um, at the beginning, well, no, no, not at the beginning. Um, we're closing in towards the end game of uh, this series because um, basically we are pretty much already um, on the last few researches. I only need to build them and uh, therefore, well, it's not that easy. You need to acquire those technologies and such, but we are really basically preparing for the finale but oh no oh no tj put it down so it has been my insectoid it has been my bear my megafauna bear incubator too bad what a pity yeah clean up this mess man oh no Oh no, both of them are uh, just uh, unfortunate creatures. That's so sad. I worked so hard on these. I worked so hard for these and then we didn't get any res um, reward for it. Well, too bad, but what can I do? So definitely need more megafauna um, specimen now. That's all this means. Alright. Lots and lots of wood being accumulated. Hunt down that fox. And uh, I really need new hay. Some somewhere um, I need to put up some new hay, but Levin is now creating a lot of uh, chem fuel out of that uh, insect meat. Still more than 2.4k of that stuff, but uh, man, I'm sad about those uh, flesh beasts. Gotta say, that shouldn't have uh, that that shouldn't have happened, really. Well, we can't change it now. So, 410 units of steel available. There's still lots of insect jello back there. Okay. So, I wanted to mine away on these. And just seal this, you know. I felt like I want to have a unified entrance for my enemies where they won't be where they will be funneled into my defenses properly, you know. So properly means in this scenario something like that. So I'm gonna leave that fallback space into this narrow corridor here um, in the lo um, for a, for the long run, but yeah, let's see how good that'll work. You know, I literally have no clue. I really try to experiment as much as possible. So, was was that was that Monzonite? Yeah, it was Monzonite. forgot the door here driving me nuts to see that so we're gonna create this with Emperor door dark boom okay there we go so 
So I'm gonna slaughter the second chicken nathus or chicken nethus, whatever. I don't need two of uh, two two male specimen of those meadow aves, alpha animals. Well, bear bug, boomalisk, needle chicken, beetle fleet. Well, the wolf shrimp sounds pretty uh, delightful, but I don't feel like I want to go for yet another of those beasts. So concrete is sand, clay, and ingredients, slaked lime. So do I even have limestone here? I mean, I don't, I don't think I do. So that idea already, uh, so fly ash. Where am I supposed to create fly ash, and what is fly ash? So... Plaster brick here, fly ash, coal. Ranging from bricks to substitute plaster and cement. So maybe I can use that stuff, but I'll need coal for that, so... Um, I haven't found any coal here whatsoever yet. So let's see if I'm going to be able to find that. I used a different coal mod ages ago, but that was only coal to use it for generators. So, Brianna's husband, Levin's son, and Johnny's father-in-law. What an illustrious uh, couple of people here. Okay. Fire. Well, that's not really fire. Okay, so we're gonna create fly ash here. Got it. Those dudes buy all my clothes. That's awesome. So let's do yet another delivery of those. All right, there we go. So, I'm really um, eager to get some megafauna genes, but wait a sec, megasloth. I remember vaguely that the megasloth was megafauna. Since I do want to acquire new megafauna genes, Here we go. So, megafauna animal. I still have two doses of megafauna? Okay, I didn't know that. That's good. They must have been uh, older amounts. So, yeah, we're already extracting genes out of that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, we can retry that today. Very good. I've been very sad already, you know. So, I should be also able to create lots and lots of aging drugs here without any problems. We go. Good thing that I re um, remembered that uh, circumstance with the um, megafauna and the megasloth. All right. Neat. Turbocharged cryo stabilized engine. Okay, Architect Database, okay, Genetic Repository, the building will need one of each genetic materials obtainable and their project needs five repositories in total. Okay, 
mechanoid tinkering table. Okay. The architect centipede. So that's my big project here to create a architect centipede. Alrighty. Right now I'm just a super happy man to have yet another chance to see those uh, new megafauna beasties. All right. Johnny's on the training again. It's really important to keep your animals trained. They still got so much to learn actually. So this one here, egg progress. Okay. So, Lawman is installing the defense walls. Awesome. So, of course, there will be doors for me, but not for thee. This is going to be basically my mining complex here. That's what it's going to be. Masterwork, light leather button-down shirt. Mm. What a piece of clothing to create a masterwork out of it. All right. We're really using lots and lots of wood here in the in general. I keep being amazed about that, honestly. So, Levin needs to relax socially. I'm out of materials for ah, uh, yeah, sure. I need herbal meds for um, the aging for the aging pills. I remember now. So I'll rather forage a few wild ones. There we go. Let's see. Cryofuel is accumulating slowly, but steadily. And uh, let's see here. Should be here. Turbocharged cryo stabilized engine. I'm gonna need 100 units of cryo fuel there. Two mechanoid interface chips. Okay. Oh, yeah. Incubator has hatched. Elasmobarium. <laughs> yeah, sure. And uh, a mantis tannis. Okay. So, Mantis Tannis, mixing the genes of one of the biggest carnivorous... Oh, that's of the Titanus. One of the biggest carnivorous birds ever existing and those of a praying mantis is either a genius idea or anathema. The Mantis Tannis stalks its prey by standing incredibly still and launching itself with lightning speed. Fun. <laughs> and the Elasmobarium is an hybrid of a bear and an ancient ancestor of a rhinoceros. The Elasmobarium is a pretty aggressive omnivore, using its horn to impale its victims and then mauling them with their vicious paws. Mmm, delightful. Okay, so all I need are now aging pilts, and then my new animals will be included into the army. All right, nice. So all I need to be a very, very lucky man now um, are some mechanoids or thrombos to, to work with, to spar with, to, you know. So eggs, muffalo bear milk, okay, their stay was okay, got it. I guess this place is a little bit filthy at this point. So we're gonna send Brianna to uh, to clean some today. All right, I'm creating insane amounts of Nutramines at this point, but sadly I got no other usages for Nutramines at this point. Okay. Well, well. Brianna's gramps and her mother. Wow. 
Lawman is finally at the point where he starts just repairing stuff. That's always a good mo uh, moment. Because that shows me we're in a really stable position right now. So, we're going to create new turrets here. Alright, so the idea behind that is my people will always hide behind those turrets, of course. But we're either going to use them to hide behind them or uh, use them as decoys while shooting like crazy from here. So, it's the basic idea behind that, but I'm gonna make that corridor a little bit wider than that. Yeah, that's looking good. Alright. Good stuff. Still needing tons and tons of, uh, of steel here, but well, tell me something new. Yay, finally got the materials for the aging pills. Awesome. Oh, very happy about that one. Because this will usher in a new um a new age of monsters for me. Because I feel like the Elasmobarium and uh, the Mantistanus could be really, really powerful uh, critters. So, Brianna's mixing up a few of those. Very good. Alright. There. My little Mantistanus receives some age builds now. So, TJ, you do you. And uh, here, the Elasmobarium needs some of those too. Zap. I love that. Alright, so with uh, its maturity now, it's not more, it's not, hasn't received more trainability here, but that's okay. So, Elasmobarium, almost 20 damage per blow. Yikes. This one only 13, uh, only 14 damage per blow. Okay. Aw, it nuzzles every two days. Ugh. I didn't make this up, you know. Alrighty. So, what does happen around here with the wildlife. Pretty much nothing. <laughs> okay. Too bad. Alright, so we're now going to deconstruct all that because it's just not necessary anymore. That's just... Uh, yesterday's news. So, some lignite flagstones then. Alright. Feel a lot better with this kind of setup. Because it feels a lot more um, stable and solid. Okay, then. Really feel pretty safe with all those monsters right now. Especially since uh, some of them already uh, start breeding. I really want to, I want to think about which, which kind of animals do I want to uh, breed, actually. So... The Elasmobarium really sounds like something you would want to have. The Parasaurolope, well... Not even sure if I really want to keep those, honestly. But, uh, well... I can't just uh, let them explode like that, no problem. Same goes for the Paragon Boomalope. One-time use, you know. But apart from that... 
So the rep tortoises, well, they, they sure sound useful, but they're, uh, oh, they are a breeding pair. Awesome. So we will receive more of those here. Nice. Seriously, that's, uh, that's super nice. Okay. So we're just smoothing out more surfaces here because I feel like... Uh, okay, rat follow milk, feather dust joints, beaver wolf castoreum, whatever that is. I think I don't want to know. Unfertilized mantis egg, mantis tainus eggs. And uh, a large fire here. Shutting down a lot of my uh, items. So honestly, we're gonna be deconstructing that too. Simply because I don't need them anymore, you know. And we've just seen how easy they can be crippled, you know. Let's keep it like that. Feels a lot safer for me. So, I forgot about those here. Alright. Slowly replacing a lot of these things here. Oh, another Wolfalo pregnancy. So, the Wolfalos are now really um, spreading. A mechanoid cluster! Hooray! I was waiting for you guys. So Wolfalos have a pretty decent average damage, so I'm okay with that. Automotor, Infer Inferno Turret, a low shield, but luckily no high shield, okay. So we're gonna bring Brianna, Chirpy, and uh, well... Let's make sure we're only going to be loading high explosive shells. The incendiary shells are only uh, good for special um, purposes, I might say. So. Let's set a force target at this and see what will happen. I'm so excited because this will bring me uh, mechanoid genes. I've been waiting for those, you know. So let's follow the shells. Oh well, no hit. No hit. Oh, guys, you are. Are you trying to miss? Oh, yeah, we got that, Goliath. So, uh, they start to attack immediately. Well,. The real big issue I'm seeing here is uh, the um, the uh, extra turret there. So Chirpy, Brianna, and Johnny. We need to uncheck those. Well, I'm gonna bring Pearl too, just uh, because you know. So I'm really, really happy that I have created all these. Uh, extra defenses there. So... Let's see how good this will work. Oh, 
All right, so uh, doesn't look like we're uh, particularly good off with uh, those other projects there. Okay. So, there's uh, other monsters coming in from this flank. I'm going to retreat here because there's uh, nothing to be gained at this uh, front. I'm going to let Chirpy eat some. All right. So this is going to be the most uh, threatening moment here. So I feel like I should have uh, done that differently. But well, now is no more time to uh, ponder about this. Yeah, just like I thought. These uh, stupid uh, Inferno cannons are so so strong, I, I really hate that. Really don't understand why they have to be that strong, honestly. But well, whatever. We're gonna be fine. Okay. Let's uh, take them down. That's what your army is good for, you know. Okay, we are done with that one. Let's see. Uh, one needle gunshot. Two needle gunshots, but uh, no severe uh, life threatening situations here. All right, good stuff. Okay, now um, extracting genes from a mechanoid. Do I already have that? And no, not really. So we're gonna do mechanoid extraction forever because I feel like this is the best thing I can do with mechanoid genes and then my friends we're gonna be I can't wait for that honestly so I don't have any jobs is, uh, concerning these things all right so Brianna and Chirpy And Johnny, yeah. So let's see. Erogain needs some treatment. I hope the golds, uh, the targets are still okay. So it doesn't seem like this mortar is firing on its own, but uh, little do I care, honestly. Okay. I just hope we're going to be taking them down. I mean, it's uh, seriously one of the unluckiest uh, situations ever. Can't remember when I had so many uh, shots that missed the last time. Really gotta say, this is uh, disturbing. All right, so uh, we're literally destroying everything except for our enemies here. Wow. Almost. 
And Levin got himself some infection. Good job, dude. Do good job. So, Levin, being one of my best doctors, no, the best doctor. So, TJ and Chirpy are the next best people. So, are you guys kidding me? Like, uh, okay, we're, we're just going to do it manually tomorrow then. I mean, do I have smoke? I do have EMP, but do I also have smoke? Doesn't look like I do. Dang. Well, to be quite honest, we don't need much anymore, you know. So, uh, Levin, why are you... I forgot to put you onto bed rest, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I guess it will be okay. Alrighty, friends. So, uh, next episode, we're going to take down the miserable uh, leftovers of this uh, siege. Or, uh, well, not siege, the cluster. I hope I'll be able to uh, get up some new explosive shells. Because that was uh, seriously, extremely, extremely, extremely unlucky. And, uh, yeah. I'm really happy to say we got our first mechanoid genes so we're gonna play around with those next episode too so stay tuned friends and as usual leave a comment down below leave a like leave a subscribe you know the drill i am super happy if you want to help me but most importantly have a good time stay safe take care and uh yeah see you then bye bye